Right, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is uh, a second attempt, really, at looking at how to sort of adapt history to using uh, my sort of uh, method of problems in solvers, my decoder, as I call it. Right, um, again, the source that I've used is uh, BBC Bite Size History, so I've kind of looked at that and seen how I can adapt that. Also, to give you an idea as to how you can revise if you've got a screen recording software to sort of manipulate and get information uh, in in terms of revising, etc. Right, so we're looking at the Yorta and Potsdam conferences. And the first question that we got is why were these two conferences called? So let's look at the, the information that we've got, okay, um, and find out why. So they were called, so we've got this information here, they were called to help the Allies decide what would happen to Europe and in particular Germany of course at the second or sorry at the end of the Second World War. Okay? Just also to sort of highlight that differences also emerge between the Allied leaders there as well. So uh, called to help the Allies decide what would happen to Europe and Germany at the end of the Second World War. So let's just copy uh, that over. In to here let's see how it goes okay last uh, video that I made I actually typed out the answers took too long etc so I just want to sort of try this method instead so second question what was agreed upon at Yalta or Yalta all right let's go into this so what was agreed upon there okay so uh, first of all it took place February 1945 and of course the war was still going on Germany was not yet defeated uh, bombing of Dresden happened during that month for example um, so uh, now the tensions about uh, Poland uh, the big three Stalin, Roosevelt and Churchill now what they managed to agree on was they managed to agree to split Germany into four zones of occupation uh, to allow free elections in Eastern European countries uh, Russia was invited to join the United Nations and then Russia promised to join the war against Japan when Germany was defeated okay so that's what we need to copy over so we go back into this and paste it here okay so that's the answer that we need to what was agreed at Yalta put in the thing about Poland as well even Okay, just to sort of emphasise that that was an ongoing sort of issue uh, throughout the war. Um, okay, which we won't discuss now. Explain what went on at Potsdam. So let's have a look as to what went on at Potsdam. Okay, now first of all, it happened in July 1945, um, and of course Germany had been defeated the previous well, it was two months beforehand in May. Now, these are the issues uh, that uh, the, everyone was faced with. Roosevelt had died, and Churchill had lost the 1945 election to Attlee. Okay, and there was a Labour government in power of Britain. Okay, so as a consequence, there were open disagreements. Now, Truman, a strong anti-communist, came away angry about the size of reparations and the fact that a communist government was being set up in, in Poland, so again this issue about Poland. Truman also did not tell Stalin that he had the atomic bomb, which was to cause huge friction as well. Okay, so that's the answer to that one. Let's just go back in here and, and paste it like so. Here we go. Right, there we have it. So, Roosevelt died and Churchill lost the 1945 election, uh, open disagreements, Truman uh, was angry over uh, signs of reparations and that there was a communist government being set up in Poland, okay, and Truman did not tell Stalin about the atomic bomb, so I think it's important to emphasize and repeat that. Right, number four needs to be brought more into shot. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Right. So back into this. Now, um, describing the huge differences between uh, Yalta and Potsdam. Okay. Um, goodwill, a lot of goodwill gone. Um, 
this country's no longer needed to stick together. Um, lots of broken promises uh, by Stalin. So let's have a look here. So the lineup, first of all, was hugely different, as you can see here. Only not Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin. Okay, and then at Potsdam we had Attlee, Truman, and Stalin. So only the the, the only person common to both of them, or present at both of them, was Stalin. Okay, so let's just copy that over. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so that's the first. Is, uh, okay, so we had uh, this is Yalta on this side down there. I should have made that a little bit clearer. Okay, and on this side we've got these three. Now I remember watching a documentary somewhere which actually pointed out that Atlee was famous for his ability to chair meetings and be conciliatory. Therefore, I suppose, in terms of actually standing up and fighting for um, things or issues like Poland, which uh, Churchill certainly, certainly stood up for, um, he wasn't so uh, good at doing that. Right, so Yalta, Germany to be split into four zones. So let's uh, just have a reflection on that. There we go. So that was decided at Yalta. Remember this side down there is concentrating on Yalta, whereas the other side is on uh, Potsdam. Okay. <clears throat> and Potsdam, arguments about details of the boundaries between the zones. So, you know, the fact that uh, uh, the Cold War, or the beginnings of the Cold War, very much coming into to play there. Right, let's have a look at uh, this one here. So, a third reason, so to say. Um, right, Germany will pay reparations, as decided at Yalta. Uh, uh, whereas at Potsdam, I don't want that to happen, do I? TV problems, to say the least. Right, disagreements about the amount of reparations uh, the Russians wanted to take. It's agreed that Russia could take whatever it wanted from the Soviet zone and 10% of the industrial equipment of the Western zones, but Britain and the US thought this was too much. If you remember, Western Germany was where the Ruhrgebiet was and, and, and stuff like that, so it's very much um, concentration of German industry was in the Western half. Okay, all right, let's just bring that better into shot. Right, so let's find the fourth reason. Let's go back into it. Uh, a noisy neighbor's cat is actually ruining my recording. I don't know if this will pick this up on here. The government of national unity to be set up in Poland, comprising both communists and non communists. Okay. So that's what we got there. That's what they wanted for. That was decided. Um, it's one of, uh, if you like, Churchill's great successes, or seen at the time. Truman was angry because um, Stalin had arrested the non communist leaders of Poland. Okay. Right. So, put this in there. Right, and the fifth reason. Okay, free elections in the countries of Eastern Europe. This part of the agreement was called the Declaration of Liberated Europe. So that's what we got there. Okay, whereas, I'm just tidying that up. Uh, in contrast, Potsdam, okay, America and Britain were alarmed because communists were coming to power in the countries of Eastern Europe. Okay, did that happen straight away? Like Czechoslovakia, for example, didn't happen in 45. It, uh, uh, it was a couple of years before they came to power there. Okay, right. And 
F, or the final reason. Okay, Russia would help against Japan when Germany was defeated. Uh, so that was agreed at uh, Yalta. Yalta, Yalta, Yalta. Okay, uh, whereas Potsdam, in contrast, uh, Truman dropped the atomic bomb so that Japan would surrender before Russian troops could go into Japan. America had the bomb in July 1945, but Truman did not tell Stalin about it. When he saw how he had been tricked, Stalin was furious. Okay. So let's just put that in there. Okay, let's bring that into shots. So I'm just going to tidy this up for that last one there. So we've got the more, yep. Uh, just about everything is shot for number four there. So these are the differences. So remember, this is Yalta, February 1945, and this is Potsdam, which is July 1945. So these are the comparisons between the two, uh, which also included the change of leaders as well, of which one of them, Roosevelt, uh, was dead, and replaced by Truman, who was a lot more belligerent, uh, anti communist and therefore anti-Stalin than his predecessor. Okay. okay.